Good morning, Seahawks. Today is Tuesday, February 28th, 2017. There will be a class of 2018 meeting at 2 p.m. in room 3112. Please see Ms. Eschbach or Ms. Craig for more information. Attention National Honor Society members, there is a mandatory meeting tomorrow in room 4156 after school. All members must attend. Freshman t-shirts and hoodies are in. Please pick them up before or after school in room 4167. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. What is Black History Month? Black History Month started out as Negro Week, and this was created by Dr. Carter G. Woodson in 1926. He was a historian and founder of the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History, which is now known as the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. Later on in 1976, Negro Week would evolve into Black History Month, as proclaimed by President Gerald R. Ford. The month of February was chosen specifically because Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass shared in great contributions to black history, and their birthdays are both during this month. Frederick Douglass escaped slavery and spread his knowledge on the topic through his writings and speeches. Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president, led the country to ending slavery in the Civil War through the Emancipation Proclamation. It is important that we keep black history and its culture alive. We must not forget their struggles, their hurt, their misery, and even more important, their accomplishments. African Americans have came a long way. They have suffered and persevered. Being educated on history helps understand mistakes and gives us a better understanding on why it should never be repeated. That's why being conscious is so important. We had leaders like Dr. Martin Luther King, who spread awareness like no other, who stood up for what he be believed in, who fought for people of color peacefully without the violence. For decades, people of color have been unappreciated and it's time that we recognize their successes and accomplishments. For instance, Oprah Winfrey, she's the first African-American woman to be a billionaire. Her net worth is $3.2 billion. Muhammad Ali, a social activist and a professional boxer, became the youngest person to achieve the heavyweight title at only 22. Michael Jackson was the first black artist to be on music videos through MTV. Thurgood Marshall was the first black associate justice of the Supreme Court. Barack Obama, of course, was our first black president. Know from whence you came. If you know from whence you came, there's absolutely no limitations where you can go. James Baldwin. English Language Arts Assistance is available in Academic Lunch every Tuesday. From World English 1 to AP Composition, we've got you covered. Fourth period, go to 3167. Fifth period, go to 3170. And sixth period, go to room 3158. You can get one-on-one -on -one assistance or just work quietly on your assignments. Seahawks students, if you have not passed your Algebra 1 EOC, you can register to take the PERT test and the results may count for your graduation requirement. Please pre-register for one or both of the following dates, March 9th or April 15th, on our Sun Lake website. What's up Sun Lake? I'm Raquel with your Seahawks Sports. Girls Tennis will play against Hudson High School at home. Their match starts at 3.30 p.m. Softball also plays at home against Mitchell High School. Their game starts at 6 p.m. Also taking the diamond tonight will be Varsity Baseball against OHS. First pitch is at 7 p.m. Those are your sporting events for tonight. If you want more details on these or future events, go to our school website and click on the calendars button. Have a great day, Sun Lake, and make sure you show up to support our fellow Seahawks. Today's weather is brought to you by Bay News 9. 
Today's high will be in the mid 80s with partly sunny skies. There is a small chance of isolated showers through the day. Tonight's temperatures will be in the high 60s with, with some patchy fog. Tomorrow will pretty much be a repeat of today's weather. It's birthday shout out time. Country singer Jason Aldean turns 40 today. Comedian Gilbert Gottfried celebrates being 62. And Chef Ansley Harriet hits the big 6 0. If you would like to wish a friend or significant other a happy birthday, go to the school website, click on the student newspaper where you'll find a link to submit your birthday shout outs. We look forward to hearing from you. Well, that, that's all I have for you today. I'm Ikeka. Have a great day, Seahawks. And remember, keep it classy, Sunday. History has taken place. There's nothing that cannot be done. And so I think it's true. No one can stop me or you. It's time to show it's us. Hands up. Let's just discuss. Let's just keep up. This is what we hear.